Okay, so the new Dungeons & Dragons starter set, Dragons of Stormwreck Isle, is starting to be available in the United States on store shelves. Uh, I got mine yesterday. I pre-ordered it from Target and it showed up yesterday. I think you can go to the store now and get it, but they might not actually have it on the store shelves until tomorrow or the next day, because I think the official release date is the 31st, I think. But anyway, I thought it would be interesting to do a comparison between the starter sets to see what you get. I Just as a quick statement, I feel like the best value for the money is the essential kit, and we'll go into the detail on why I think that. So let me set the essential kit aside for the time being, and let's do a comparison between Lost Mine of Fandelver and the new starter set, because I feel like these are directly comparable. They're, they're identical in terms of what you get in the box, like literally identical. So let me open Lost Mine and set that lid to the side and open the... Dragons of Stormwreck Isle, and I'll set that lid to the side. So for starters, you know, this is the Lost Mine, obviously. We get uh, we get a set of uh, six dice. The one dice that's missing is the percentile dice, and that's the same thing over here. In fact, these might even be... I guess there's a slight difference in the way they look, but the same thing we have... Uh, we have the same dice in both sets, missing the percentile dice. And here we just have this little bit of advertisement. I think this is maybe the one difference between the two. Uh, I don't think there was this type of advertisement in Lost Mine. Um, I have these books out of order, so let me flip this around. So in Lost Mine we have the starter set rulebook, and... The new one, we have a starter set rulebook. Uh, the the layout is probably different, but the rules are going to be large, uh, going to be fairly similar. Although this was released before the rules were finalized, I believe. So there's probably some things in here that are actually a little different to in today. But yeah, you get a starter set rulebook in both. In both of them, you get an adventure. One difference between the two is the the adventure of Lost Mine is is much longer. Uh, this book, you pick up this book and it just has a lot more heft to it. This is a 63 or 64 page book, including the back cover. And you know, physically, I can just feel there's quite a bit more, like I said, more heft to this book because there's just more content there. But we got the adventure book. And here we have an adventure book, and this adventure book is uh, 48 pages, whereas the other one was 64. So, you know, again, the, this and this is a levels one through three, whereas Lost Mine, I believe, is one through five. And then the last thing in both boxes are character sheets. So in Lost Mine, we have. I think five character sheets. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, it looks like five character sheets that you got in Lost Mine. And then just in Lost Mine, then you also have this little cardboard thing down here. And in Dragons of Stormwreck Isle, we have, I think we might actually have six character sheets here. I'm not sure. Let me count one two, three, four, five. No, so it's still five. So it's th it's the same either way. And then as with Lost Mine, you know, you also just have this cardboard thing down here at the bottom with nothing else underneath of it. So, so these two sets are very, very similar in terms of what you get. It's just that, you know, Lost Mine, you get... A longer adventure so I'll just put everything back in this box um, and another thing about the original starter set this thing is super cheap now uh, I've seen I've seen this starter set for as low as like seven dollars on Amazon 
which that's incredibly cheap. I, I think they're selling that below production costs. I can't even, I can't imagine they could make something like this for $7. But I would say more typically, the price is probably 10, 12 these days. So this is a really great value. Um, all right, let's compare the uh, Dragon of Ice Spire Peak, which was the adventure from 2019, so about three years ago, with the one that just came out recently. So I'll just leave this box lid off for now. So Dragon of Ice Spire Peak here and the new one here. Uh, Dragon of Ice Spire Peak, I actually looked today just out of curiosity, and this can be bought on Amazon uh, for, I think it was $18. It might have been like $18.99, so $18 or $19. And this new one, I believe, I think I paid $19.99 for it from Target, So, but I think the retail price is a bit higher than that. I think it's $24, maybe. But... What you get in Dragon of Ice Spire Peak, you know, we got this uh, box, which this, you know, this isn't really much of a value in my opinion. But I think we got two full sets of dice, if I recall correctly. Um, let's see. Uh, we got the, let's, let me just, let me just do one set. So we got the D20, the six, the four percentile dice, a 10, what am I missing here? And an eight. And then of course, we also have, and then I'm missing a 12 down here as well. So so we have the full set of dice, including the percentile dice, and then you have, you know, extra D6s if you want to, you know, generate characters. So you get a more complete set of dice. So that's one thing that's immediately better. Um, again, if you're starting out and you don't have dice, then this would be this would be a real value. Um, again, you get a rule book. So, all right, let me move these dice out. And then this advertisement. Uh, so again, you get a rule book. One thing that is immediately better, in my opinion, about the Dragon of Ice Spire Peak rule book is that it's made from this thicker, uh, thicker paper material, uh, cardboard type of paper. So these rule book, the rule book, or both books actually, they're they're more durable. They're just better, uh, better covers, and that's that's a real tangible piece of value in my opinion. the The new rule book is the same as Lost Mine of Fandover, where it's just made of the it's the 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 cover is no different than the pages inside in terms of the material. So this is going to be a bit easier to tear. So you have to be more careful handling it. And not a deal breaker, but just something to be aware of. So let me set this rule book aside. And then again, the adventure is the same thing. Um, you know, we have a cover that is, you know, much thicker. <clears throat> it's going to be, it's going to hold up much better to, you know, tears and things like that. And the adventure is, is, is longer. It's, it's a... Uh, you know, it's, I don't think it's, <clears throat> I was going to say, I don't think it's as long as Lost Mine, but apparently it, this is also 64 pages. So, but I don't know how much of that is uh, adventure versus, you know, filled up with monster stats and whatnot. But even so, you know, you get, you definitely get a longer adventure with Dragon of Ice by your peak as well. I can't remember off the top of my head how long or what the levels are on that one, if it's one through five, like... Lost Mine, or if it was one through four, I don't remember. So, adventure, adventure. And then the last thing we have in the new one are the character sheets, but we're still going on Dragon of Ice Spire Peak. Dragon of Ice Spire Peak gives us, you know, a DM screen, which is pretty cool, you know, for new players especially. So you get all these, you know, you get all this information, and you get some pretty great artwork on the other side of the DM screen. So you get a DM screen included with Dragon of Ice Spire Peak. 
Uh, Dragon of Ice Spire Peak also gives you this nice fold-out map. So we get a nice big map of Phandalin on one side, and then a nice look at the area of the Sword Coast that we're adventuring in on the other sides. You know, and I can't even fit it into the camera view. So you get a nice big map. And then we got all these uh, extra cards in here that you know, none of this comes with the new one. Um, these are all your sidekicks. These little cardboard pieces. And, you know, magic items that you can hand out. Quest cards, uh, initiative counters, uh, condition markers, more magic items, and you know more condition markers. And then you get some blank character sheets. <clears throat> and you get an, one one of the things too that you got with Dragon of Ice Spire Peak where uh, on the other side you got codes that would go along with D&D <clears throat> &D Beyond and you don't get any of that with the new adventure which I kind of find especially odd considering Wizards bought D&D &D Beyond so I, you would think that they would have included some codes um, again it, you got blank character sheets over here we got character sheets that are already filled out but one of the things about Dragon of Ice Spire Peak that was part of the appeal was that you would instead of having pre-generated characters you would it included the rules to make your own characters so that's why all these were blank i kind of felt like they should have done both like they should have included some pre-generated characters and gave you uh you know the rules to generate your own but that that's a lot of value that you got in dragon of ice spire peak and you're just not getting near that much material in the uh, Dragon of Stormwreck Isle. Uh, I, I, I like box sets, I like starter kits, so I'm happy to have bought this anyway. I don't feel like I got ripped off or anything like that. You know, I, I knew what I was, I pretty well knew what I was getting, but you know, if I were suggesting somebody to buy a new starter set, if they've never bought any of them, you know, I would say you might want to look at Dragon of Ice Spire Peak as your first purchase. Um, you're going to get the most stuff and then maybe consider, you know, Lost Mine of Fandelver. It's been around a while and you can pick it up so crazy cheap. And so, like I said, sometimes it's even on sale for like $7 on Amazon, which is just crazy. Uh, having said that, there could possibly be, a, you know, some things to be, to be said about, you know, the new starter set. Uh, one you know, you could look at it as an advantage that it's not so long. It is only um, levels one through three, so, you know, you don't have to dedicate as much time to playing it. But on the other hand, you know, it's, it's not really about value for money. And paying as much money for this, or actually paying more money for this, than you would Dragon of Ice Spire Peak doesn't make a lot of sense, unless you're just, you know, a collector a bit like me I kind of tend to collect a lot of things but you know if you're brand new and you're starting out especially if you're young and money is tight uh, it definitely doesn't make any sense at all to spend 20 to 30 dollars on this when you could potentially pick up Lost Mine of Fandelver for as low as like like I said I've seen it on Amazon for as low as seven dollars now you're not that's not the everyday price but if you could pick this up for seven bucks it's a way better deal than 20 to 30 dollars for this one and dragon of ice spire peak can be purchased regularly at under 20 dollars on amazon and which is just way way better of a deal than this one so yeah i just thought i would take a side by side look at the three starter sets and kind of go through you know what you get in each one and why i feel like you know dragon of ice spire peak is probably the best value for money um, between the three, assuming that you're getting them all around the same price. Um, 
if you can pick up Lost Mine for that really, really cheap price, then that's going to be your best value for money. But assuming that they're all around that $15 to $20 price at some point, then the Dragon of Ice Spire Peak, I think, is the best value.